club I could afford. But there are some other Gold Rush clubs I might actually consider joining. People think of minors as all work and no play. But one group managed to take fraternity and absurdity to a whole new level. When we think of secret societies, we think of ridiculous rituals, incredible secrecy, and sometimes some elitism. The Clampers, on the other hand, were very different, very much the Miners Society. Yes, this is the ancient and honorable order of E. Clampus Vitus, the motto being Quido Quida Absurdum, I believe because it's absurd. What is the backstory of the Clampers? You're really never going to find the exact origin of the Clampers, but a fellow by the name of Joseph Zumwalt brought the charter of E. Clampus Vitus to California, to the gold fields. The story goes is that it spread like a wildfire. And very soon, all of the miners were clampers. So during the height of the gold rush era, how many clampers were there? Well, without giving you any numbers, we do know that by the 1870s, there were more clampers in the state than there were Oddfellows, Masons, Elks, any of the benevolent orders combined. Are there any clampers who are well-known people that we might know in the media or who are famous? Ulysses S. Grant. Really? J.P. Morgan, Mark Twain, many television cowboys, including Roy Rogers. Really? Men's men in this group. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Is it permissible for me to know any details of clamper initiation? I, I can tell you what clamper initiation looked like back in the day. Okay. The object was to humble the poor blind candidate who was the initiate. He was blindfolded, brought into the clamp site, the place where the initiation would take place. Clamp site? Yes, yeah, the clamp site. Got it. Not camp site, clamp site. I, I got it. They were tarred and feathered and put into a hoop skirt and made to ride a rail into the nearest town or mining camp. And if they made it back into the mining camp the next day, they would be eligible to be a clamper. But before that, the poor blind candidate would have been made to give up his poke of gold dust. And that would have been taken immediately to the local saloon to support the saloon for the day. So he's covered with feathers in a hoop skirt going out of town, and all the clampers are in town drinking on his dime. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, so someone's having a really good time. Someone else is having a very interesting time. But the clampers did perform a function. There are many documented cases of the clampers coming together to aid families that had fallen on hard times. When a miner died, when a miner became infirm, the clampers would take care of the family. In later days, they paid the mortgage on the house. They made sure the kids had an education. The family had groceries and food. And that's uh, another reason why these miners wanted to become clampers, because it was a form of security for them. When I say goodbye to someone or people I'm working with, I say good night, see you next time. But I'm sure a group as venerated, as amazing and unique as the Clampers must have a unique way of ending the day. Oh, we sure do. What saith the brethren? Say that And so recorded. And that's how you do that. That's how we do it. The Clampers, like most gold miners, tended to look out for one another. But there wasn't anyone looking out for the environment back then. And Mother Nature took one hell of a beating.